Raising awareness about domestic violence, that's why a Sumter nonprofit is hosting a candlelight vigil at this hour. Last year, 49 South Carolinians were killed by their partner. News 19 Sam Perez tells us more. We have a lot of work to do in our state. Clay McDonald Amaker is the executive director of the YWCA, a nonprofit that supports victims of domestic violence. As a community, it impacts everyone. So it allows us to come together on the basis and grounds of understanding and further gaining insight as to how we all are affected by domestic violence and what we can do to eradicate domestic violence. Which is why she's hosting a candlelight vigil to raise awareness about domestic violence and all those it affects, both women and men. Men may not know what's going on because they've been taught certain behaviors growing up that, you know, you, you tough up, you know, toughen up, uh, be a man, do this, do that. You know, a lot of the learned behaviors that are passed down and trickle down from generation to generation. No matter who is affected, Sumter resident Scott Burke says violence should not be tolerated. It's not right. It's not right for a man to touch a woman. It's not right for a man uh, or a woman to touch a man. That's why Burke and the Iron Order Motorcycle Group hosted a car and bike show to raise money for the YWCA. As bikers, it's important that we show that it's, it's <laughs> masculine also to support, you know, violence against women or even violence against men. It's, uh, uh, it, it, it shouldn't be tolerated, and as, as, as men in the community, it's important that we, we rally behind that. For Street Squad Sumter, I'm Sam Perez. And that vigil again happening right now on the steps of the Sumter County Courthouse. It lasts until 7 o'clock tonight.